Okay, let us discuss this next problem. So first I will say you just write down the uh, question and then I will discuss the solution. I will give you some time so that you can write. So let us write this question first. Just copy this one. And the question is asking what the mechanism is either is SN1 or SN2. What is the mechanism for this reaction? Either SN1 or SN2. So if you have written this one, I think you have written now. So let me wait for some more time. Okay, done. Okay, so let us go to the solution part. If you see here, Initially have this compound treated with excess OH minus that is concentrated OH minus I have. So if the excess OH minus I have, it can basically if you see the product what is happening Br has gone and now I have attached one OH. In acid basic medium COH will convert it into COO minus that is obvious. So what we are doing is this OH minus is attacking from the back face and that's why these two groups are going away face so if this group goes carbon is this side back side now this goes this side CH3 goes this side and I will add OH this side so you see this is an inversion of configuration so this reaction is happening with inversion of configuration so I am getting S and finally I have R now if I acidify this COO minus will convert it into acid so I will get the COOH here so this is a this reaction is going with inversion of configuration so I can say this is a SN2 mechanism so I can say mechanism is SN2 and the logic behind this is this is with inversion of configuration so this is going with inversion of configuration so this becomes a SN2 mechanism now this part is very easy now the next part is slightly have a concept of neighboring group participation okay so let us what you have to do is you have to write down this one and then I will discuss so just write down and then I will discuss so let us write and then we will discuss the solution part So this question is asking if I treat this compound with OH minus but OH minus concentration is low with AG plus I will get a compound and then if I acidify basically, basically this is COO minus if I acidify I will get another comp same compound but H plus added now this is S so this goes with retention of configuration now if the OH minus concentration is low and if I treat with AG plus Initially, I have not treated with AG+. Another point is OH- minus concentra concentration was very high. So in this case, you see, if you treat with OH- minus and AG+, configuration retains, that is, is, this reaction goes with retention of configuration. Are you getting or not? So this is going with retention of configuration. You have to explain why this is happening with retention of configuration. So take one minute time, I will give you a hint, this is something called neighbor group participation. To explain this thing, you have to know a concept that is called neighboring group participation. If you have ever heard about this concept, let us try to apply the concept. I will give you a hint, you have to make a three membered epoxide and then you have to attack. So you have to make a three membered epoxide, that is the end of hint. Okay, let me explain. So you have this molecule, just first listen and then you write. Huh? So you have COH group, OH minus, what this OH minus will do? OH minus will take H plus from here and it will form carboxylate and COO minus. 
Now a g plus, what a g plus will do? a g plus will take b r minus at infant form precipitate a g b r. So in the second step, this o minus will attack here, and this b r minus will form a bond with a g plus. So I will have a three-membered ring. So this is a three-membered ring. Are you getting or not? Now a g b r basically has precipitated. So I will get a precipitate a g b r. Are you getting or not? Now this is a cyclic three-member transition as a intermediate epoxide intermediate. Now OH minus in the next step cannot attack from this side. Attack on three-member ring always happens in anti fashion. I have already explained this in the class. Uh, this is cyclic bromonium ion, epoxide, mercurium, and you have a bromo that is a BS3. All we have explained in the class in the chapter of stereochemistry, the stereochemistry of reactions. Did you remember or not? Even if you have not remember, don't worry about all. So OH minus will attack here, and this goes this side. So if I do something like that, what I will get? I will get this. So CO minus COOH. Now you see in this carbon. Now initially this was this side. Now it will again go back side. So first time what happened? So this attacks here. This goes front side. This attacks here. Then it goes back side. So first it come this side. This two groups. This group and this two group. So you see here. This group and this group come this side. when this bond forms when this attacks again this goes this side so finally this is something like this side so this is the same initially this was this side now and also in this time this is also this side so you have a retention of configuration basically there are two times inversion of configuration in this case inversion again inversion so here you have a inversion here also you have a inversion so finally you have a retention of product if you acidify this one you will have cooh now let us write huh just let us copy this one you will have a azbr precipitate also so let us copy this one i think you can copy so there are hydrogen ch3coh br so this is a quite interesting problem and quite good problem this covers a concept something called neighboring group participation neighboring group participation only happens if you have a alternate position you have some groups one leaving group and another group that can attack so you have something like this this kind of thing can possible only if you have something like this on this carbon there is a something b or minus or something good leaving group and on this carbon there is a nucleophile you can have s minus that can attack here or you can have o minus that can attack here you can have uh, n minus that can attack here so these are all basically possibility of leaving group so uh, neighboring group participation ngp so ngp is possible only if you have two groups one leaving group and one nucleophile attached to the alternate position are you getting or not so here you must you have a leaving group and here you should have a nucleophile and then and then only you will have a uh, neighboring group participation case are you getting or not so this is a quite easy problem quite interesting problem we'll discuss the next concepts in the next problem okay i think you may be having some good time with these videos because these e lectures e lectures may be very uh, helping to others so i have i have a good feedback from one student so he says uh, he is benefited a lot by this e lectures something called e lectures or you can say uh, this helps a lot why because you get a time you can see these videos at home and you can just make a pause and you can think even so and you are very comfortable in the class people are not very comfortable and that happens i does not prefer to see the movie in cinema hall are you getting or not i do not i know i don't know why people go to the hall and move see the movie i prefer if i have a computer or or maybe if you have a uh, screen in your home so big tv that is called so you can watch the movie in your home and that is more more bit uh, good way to see the movie you can enjoy at home you can take time you can uh, take rest at home you are as as good as comfortable as in your bed and you are looking the tv and watching the movie so so simple so good it feels good but i don't know why people goes to the hall cinema hall so called and they waste money and they uh, i think they does not enjoy the movie they enjoy the crowd 
and that is the mentality of most of the people the extrovert people enjoy the crowding and introvert people enjoy the loneliness or aloneness you can say are you getting or not it's my feeling so i think it's a good idea to have these lectures at your home we'll discuss the next one